Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a Grave Digger Monster Truck Cake. When I first got this order, I was thinking, this is gonna be a pretty fun cake to make. And then as I got started working on the cake, I realized this is a really, really fun cake to make. I really loved sculpting the frame of the truck and the giant cake tires, um, but my favorite part was painting the graveyard scene on the side of the truck. So let's get started. I start out with a parchment stencil of the truck and it is drawn to size. And this stencil is going to help me make sure that my proportions are correct. I also have a wooden cake board here and there's four rods that are holding up that cake board. So this cake board is actually going to be the body of the truck. You can see I keep making sure uh, that my proportions are correct and keep checking with that stencil. And it's funny because I'm just like super not familiar with monster trucks. And I kept thinking that the cake was way too tall. So I kept checking when in fact it was correct. Monster trucks just have the most gigantic wheels ever. It's crazy. So here's a layer of buttercream. This is called a crumb coat. So you just cover the entire cake in a nice thin layer. Next is a layer of modeling chocolate. So I just place it right over top of the cake and I kind of fill in all those little creases. And here I'm trimming away the skirt um, and I left some of it hanging over the cake board because I'm gonna use that to manipulate the chocolate and make it look as if it's the shell of the truck. You can see how it's hanging over and then I go in and I mess with it. it. It's actually a really effective way to make it look like a really thin metal frame. I actually didn't know I was gonna do that until I got started. <laughs> so I just use sculpting tools and smoothing tools and I'm just manipulating the chocolate. This is modeling chocolate, so it's really easy to just go in and mess with. You can see I can shape it really easily. It's wonderful stuff. So in the back, I didn't have enough chocolate to cover the entire thing, and that's okay. So what I did is I took a rectangle um, piece of modeling chocolate, and I just placed it right onto the back and then I blended it in. And that's another reason why modeling chocolate is so amazing, because you can just blend it right in. So now I need to create that neon green frame. Um, so I took floral wire and I manipulated it into the shape of the frame, and then I attached those wires to the bottom of the cake board. The way I like to explain this part of the cake is that it's kind of like a wedding cake topper. So it isn't meant to be eaten, but it's like a really important part of the cake. It really makes it look a lot better. Like, could you imagine if I tried to like make this part out of like pretzels or something? <laughs> Chocolate covered pretzels. It sounds really good, but it would be really, really, really fragile. So sometimes you just gotta give in and use some wire. Then I took some neon green modeling chocolate and I worked it over the wire until all the wire was completely covered in that neon green. This particular cake was picked up by a customer who had to transport it to another city that was hours away. So I have to make sure that this cake is super sturdy so that when they're driving it, you know, they, that the cake actually makes it. Especially when I'm not the one delivering the cake. I really like the look of this frame. Because it's as if the frame goes up into the truck. However, you know, it's, it's a big chunk of cake up there. But it, it's the illusion that that frame could continue up into the truck. I'm also loving the color palette for this one. <laughs> I have a new appreciation for monster trucks. I was watching videos of Gravedigger and it like looks really fun. I want to go. I'm going to go to a show. So here I'm adding these black pipes, struts, shocks. I don't know what they are, but 
They are on the truck. So I, I'm looking at an image of it on my laptop um, and I'm replicating what I see. So whatever these are called, uh, they're actually perfect for covering up those rods. You can see I have those silver rods and now they're gone. It's all an illusion. <laughs> so with a pointed sculpting tool, I go in and I manipulate the chocolate and I draw in the windows and some other details. Now it's time to make the cake tires. So the first thing that you wanna do is use Rice Krispie for the bottom half of the tire. And that's because the Rice Krispie is going to hold its shape. It's gonna be nice and sturdy and we're not gonna have any issues with it falling or sagging or melting. Uh, cake isn't very stable. It's almost like the Rice Krispies are like a cake board, only it's edible. So I know that I'm gonna have a nice secure tire. Now if I made this out of cake, it would start to fall um, because cake just doesn't hold its shape very well. So I covered these in black modeling chocolate and then I smooth the chocolate over top. Now it's time to add the cake. So I add a layer of cake, layer of buttercream, and then another layer of cake. And then with a serrated knife, you just wanna cut the top to match the bottom. So it's just a big giant wheel. And then again, we're doing the crumb coat. You wanna do a nice thin layer of buttercream and cover all of the cake. So each of these tires is like its own little individual cake. So you do that to four of them. Next, you wanna cover the cake. So again, with black modeling chocolate, I just place it right on top. I trim away the excess and blend it in. Again, we're using modeling chocolate, so it blends pretty easily. All right, so then we wanna add the tread and this is just modeling chocolate rolled out into a strip. Then I take a blade and I cut it away. So I place it on at a diagonal and then I trim it away, place it on, trim it away. Nice and easy. So for the cake board, I actually just melted some chocolate and I spread it right over top. So I want a nice thin layer of chocolate covering the entire cake board. So I realized that this looks a little bit more like mud than uh, the dirt that the trucks are actually typically on. So I grabbed some cocoa powder and I placed that over top and realized it looked exactly like the monster truck dirt. So then I went in and covered the entire cake board in a nice thin layer of cocoa powder. I kind of liked that there were darker areas and lighter areas, so that chocolate underneath really does help. Otherwise, the whole thing would be just a little too light. Now it's time to add the cake tires. Um, I didn't really do much more than just placing them directly on the cake board and pushing them up against uh, those rods. They were pretty sturdy. Just place it on. Um, if they started to move a little, you could take a little bit of chocolate and put it under the tire and it'll stay. So Dave, my husband, I asked him how it was looking and he recommended I make the tires look a little puffier, a little bit like they're, they're more full of air. And I couldn't agree more. 
Uh, at first I'm like, I don't know. And then once I added this layer of chocolate here and I bulked up the tires a little bit, I realized how much better it looked. Now it's time to paint and painting this baby was really fun. Like there's a graveyard silhouette and this skull in the sky with the swirly purple and then this creepy tree with all these you know, branches coming off of it. It was really fun to paint. This is just gel food color mixed with alcohol. So the reason that you use alcohol is because you're painting on chocolate. And if you use water, the food color is going to beat up. And we don't want it to beat up, we want it to, you know, paint on there nice and smooth. So if you use alcohol, um, you know, I use Everclear, it's very, very strong. So you use that to water down the food color, and then you paint directly on the chocolate. And since it's such a high amount of alcohol, it evaporates immediately and only leaves the food color behind. And I promise you, you definitely can't taste it. It evaporates so quickly. I don't even know why that stuff exists. I can't imagine anyone ever drinking it. <laughs> this was about when I realized how much fun I was having. Like, I was like really into this cake. I was thinking at the beginning, I'm like, this is gonna be a really fun cake to make. And then as I started working on it, I got more and more into it. <laughs> it was amazing. I was like, I love this thing. Seriously, the airbrush paint job on the side, oh, it's so good. I gotta see it in person. I took some of the cocoa powder and put it directly on the wheels to make it look as if it was actually driving over the dirt. And there you have it, Grave Digger. The most fun cake ever. I loved making it and I love the way it turned out. I'm going to a monster truck show. That's it, I'm doing it. Who knew a cake would make me a fan? If you like that video, if you like this video, this video, please consider subscribing to our channel because we put out new cake videos every Monday. I want to give a shout out to our new patrons. We have Lauren Desolation, Alexi Davila, and a happy birthday to Anissa Baskerville. If you'd like to become a patron, head over to patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes.